I want to eat all the best fried chicken in Singapore and that brought me around the island to try some of the best fried chicken Singapore has to offer. But now it's time to collate the results and give these awards to the hottest chicks in town. Starting with the consistent test throughout the series, the crunch test. In my reviews, I always want to show, not tell, because the reviewer can always lie. It is much harder for the audio and visuals to do the same. The nominees are Oven and Fried Chicken, KFC, and All About Chicken. Winner of the Best Crunch Test goes to Oven and Fried Chicken. It's a bit ridiculous. It almost sounds like a sound bite with the amount of crackling. But the crunch test is merely an indication of crispiness. As we have talked about many times in the series, the job of the crust goes beyond that. It has to perfectly encase all of the juices of the chicken without hurting the gums. The nominees for best crust are Oven and Fried Chicken, Arnold's, and Waker Chicken. Winner of best crust goes to Waker Chicken. The flower composition is incredible. Extremely light and crispy is almost unreal. While there were many great crusts in this series, many of them were imperfect in encasing the chicken, causing juiciness to be lost, which needless to say is so important to fried chicken. The nominees for best juiciness are Chickaboo, All About Chicken, and Waker Chicken. The place with the best juiciness goes to Chickaboo. All about chicken had juicy breasts, and I still think about the squirt from Waker Chicken. But Chickaboo was the only chicken in this series that I had to suck after biting in because the juices were overflowing. Although it had a mummy seasoning profile, the juiciness is undeniable. Speaking of seasoning, the nominees for best seasoning are Yardbird, Jolly Bee, and KFC. Winner of the best seasoned chicken goes to. KFC. KFC does a lot wrong, but the Colonel's recipe is goated. There is probably no fried chicken recipe in the world that has more money, man hours, and revisions behind it. We had a lot of good fried chicken in the series, but you cannot mess with fast food when it comes to seasoning. What you can mess with them, however, is the quality of the cook on the chicken. How crispy is the crust while maintaining maximum juiciness? How well dredged is the chicken? The temperature control of the oil. This award takes into account everything. The nominees for best cook are All About Chicken, Arnold's, and Chickaboo. And the winner is... All About Chicken. Incredible, flawless pieces of chicken. If someone gave this uncle the Colonel's recipe, we will have flying cars out there and have cured cancer already. And before we start on the three most important awards, we need to decide on the best looking. The nominees are Yardbird, Chicks Hot Chicken, and Oven and Fried Chicken. I'm leaning towards Yardbird, the hand cooked thingy is really unique. Chicks has a really nice color, and Oven and Fried Chicken just looks so rustic and inviting. What do you think? Leave a comment below. And now the final three most important awards. For most of us, we can't talk about food without talking about the price. The best value award goes to the chicken with the best bang for the buck. The best taste with the most safe. The nominees are Jolly Bee, All About Chicken, and Arnold's. And the winner is... Jolly B. 10.50 for 3 pieces of chicken joy, one side gravy and drinks makes Jolly B the cheapest chicken in this series. And obviously it tastes great 70% of the time. Next, while most of us can't talk about food without talking about the price, none of us can talk about food without talking about the taste. The best tasting chicken goes beyond just the seasoning that we mentioned earlier. It's also about how well the chicken flavor is brought out. How the chicken flavor works with the seasoning. And the nominees are Oven and Fried Chicken, Jolly Bee, and Tender Best. Winner of the best tasting chicken goes to Oven and Fried Chicken. 
The chicken flavor in this one is so clean and beautiful. I wanna say while more seasoning in this series focus on adding flavor to the chicken, oven and fried chicken seasoning actually subtracts. It takes away the off flavor of the chicken, leaving behind what is reminiscent of a carefully cooked chicken broth. I wouldn't notice it if I was having it just on its own, but comparing to the other fried chickens I had in this series, it does stand out. Finally, it all boils down to this. The Best Fried Chicken Award takes into account everything I've experienced. Taste, service, price, location, anything. It is extremely subjective, and it is the fried chicken joint that I look forward most to returning. But if you guys picked up anything from the previous 12 videos, it is that a huge part of fried chicken is quality control. You cannot really test that by trying each place one time. So on this day, right now, we're gonna try the top three chicken places back to back. We are back here today, all because of fried chicken. Do you think I want to do this? Do you think I want to do this in this sheltering heat? All because of you guys, all because of you guys. We are back here again. Oh, so it is a consistent thing. We already made it in top three. Ow. The exploded chicken is very, very curious. Why would it be exploded? I don't understand. The skin peeling off like the other time was also the same problem. So it causes inside to be very overcooked. But still, still, oven and fried chicken, the part that shines is the taste of the chicken. The taste of the chicken is so, so sweet and enhanced. After a second try, this is like a thoroughly uh, a two drumsticks. I'm pretty convinced it's a two drumsticks. On to the next one. We are back. We are back. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is A2 taking over. Thank you. Hey, you're the one that took that picture, right? Ah, yes. Okay. We're back here. We're back here, boys. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look at that perfect crust, man. Look at it. Look at it. Still extremely juicy. Look at that. Although I didn't score this time, because I'm a bit scared to bite <laughs> that hard. Oh. But this time, right? It's under season. It's so strange. And finally, what I want to check is the breast. Is it still overcooked? I think the breast is a bit better. I can't stop talking about the crust. Flower composition is still amazing. At this chicken skin. Huh? I'm not even going to use my back teeth. And on to our last place, last destination. We are back here at Chom Chom. Hello, Uncle. Ready? Open? Okay. 4.30. 4 30, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, time you see the right? Yeah. Ah, 4 30, yeah. 4 30, okay, okay. I wait. No problem. Isn't it a beautiful day today? The box is hot. Oh, look at that crust. Still looks so perfect. God damn it. You see, the common denominators for all the top three, right? Is that all the chicken are scorching hot. Oh, it smells amazing. Still perfectly cooked. Oh my god, look at this angle, that crust though. Juicy breast that come on, bro. And it's so tender. I'm still thinking about the best fried chicken, but this is the best breast. The breast inside, right, is tender and it's wet. This uncle has skill, man. One perfect, maybe float. But back to back perfect, come on. If you give me the recipe for this and 10 tries, I'm not sure I can try the chicken breast as good as this. All right, we tried what we tried and we tried what we tried again. Time for the verdict. Winner of the best fried chicken in Singapore goes to... Roll that drum over one last time. Waker chicken. Incredible crust, great value, tasty and juicy, halal, and they have several outlets across the country. But it is not a clear winner by any means. The skill of the uncle at All About Chicken is that an anime's protagonist that's level. And the taste of oven and fried chicken still lingers in my mind. But from what I tasted on this day, Waker Chicken is my best fried chicken in Singapore. 
And that is all we have for this series. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, all the comments and recommendations coming through. Despite some 20 videos now, I'm still figuring out how to make these videos properly. Always looking for a better and more interesting way to do things. Thanks for being here while I figure things out. We will continue the series with a new dish and a new place. I'm still thinking and planning now. If you guys have any ideas, do let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!